I'm Sydney Parsons. I'm originally from Syracuse, Nebraska. And in high school, I was involved in basically every activity under the sun, softball, basketball, track. I was really involved in 4-H. That's where I got most of my leadership experience. My name is Oke Chukwokeke. Um, I'm originally from Nigeria. I moved from Dallas, Texas to Nebraska for the neuroscience teacher program here at Bryan. My name is Avery. I am from Omaha, Nebraska. I went to Gretna High School. I chose my field of study because my mom's a nurse and I toured here and fell in love with the cardiac sonography program. My family has a long line of first responders. My grandma, she was a nurse, and then my dad, he used to be a Oda County Sheriff, so it kind of runs in the family line. I chose Bryan College of Health Sciences because of the small community here. I came from a small town, so I'm used to that small town feel. Uh, you turn a corner, you know everyone, so that's pretty cool about Bryan. You can walk up to a professor anytime, or you can call up or text a professor. So um, the smaller size makes a huge difference when it comes to learning as well. I chose Bryan because I came from a really big high school and I knew I didn't really like the big class size, so coming here to Bryan, having those small class sizes and having those one-on-one -on -one with teachers um, have really helped me a lot. What's nice about Bryan is that we get to actually go into the hospital and do our clinicals there, so we are able to go in there about once or twice a week and get those hands-on experiences and learn while we're in there. I think you, you, will, you will find a home here. Like for me, I moved from Dallas, Texas. I didn't, I didn't know anybody here. I, I didn't have any place here, you know. But since a year and a half I've been here, I've met, it's easy to make a friend here. If you're looking for a school that will help you succeed, if you're looking for a school that has a lot of resources, if you're looking for a school that the professors really care about you succeeding, um, as long as you're willing to put in the work, um, they are here to help you. So th this will be the right school for you. After graduation, I plan to either get my MSN or my doctorate. I um, mean, kind of in the specialty. Right now, I'm on the edge of either pediatrics, OR, or just general family medicine because you get a broad spectrum of things. After graduation, I hope to work at Bryan as a cardiac and vascular sonographer. When I was aware of the scholarship, it kind of gave me a sense of relief, honestly. Just coming from high school and I was involved in everything, so I didn't have a job during high school. So this scholarship has really helped me to afford some of my rent and also take summer classes. Prior to uh, moving to Lincoln and also um, prior to applying for, for the scholarship, I was going through a lot of uh, financial stress. And learning that I received the scholarship was a huge financial relief. Definitely before I got the scholarship, I was worried about making money. So I think this helps take stress out of working outside of school, but also helping pay for other textbooks and stuff I might need for class. If I was face to face with my donor right now, I would give him the biggest smile and say, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Not only have you helped me encourage my studies, but it just gives me a sense of relief. That, All right, take a breather. You got this, let's keep on going. Because studies are number one and then just your self-care too here in nursing school because it's so stressful, but that sense of relief really makes a difference. I really want to first of all say my sincere thank you, you know, for their kindness, their generosity, because their donations do make a difference. I'm honest to say that I'm one of the difference that their donations is making. Thank you to my donor for helping me pursue my dreams as a sonographer. I thank you so much.